find minimum element in a sorted and rotated array so the problem statement is given an array and it is rotated any number of times we have to write a code to find the minimum element present in a sorted and rotated array so remember the property that the array is sorted we will use this property in our solution so uh, there uh, i have uh, given two examples and now let's suppose this array is rotated any number of times and if you see the minimum element it is one and uh, let me explain through example now suppose initially the array is and it has following element 1 2 3 4 5 6 you can see this array is sorted and we don't know how many times it is rotated and after rotation it will be 5 6 1 2 3 4 so this is what this array is and if you see this array you can clearly say that the minimum element is 1 similarly if you see uh, the example 2 in which the array is sorted but it is rotated at some point and the minimum element present in this array is 2 so and also you can assume there is no duplicate exists in the array so now uh, this is the problem statement now let's come to the solution part how we can solve this problem so the easiest approach to solve this problem is just traverse an array so i have declared one variable here and assign the element present at zeroth index so the element present at zeroth index is 5 so i have assigned 5 here and now i am traversing this array so it should not be 0 it should be 1 so i am traversing an array from first element to array dot length and i am checking is there any other element less than the element assign the value assign at the mean variable so i am checking here is there any other value present in an array which has value less than the value assigned at mean element if it is then assign that value in mean variable and after this step we get uh, the output one and we get our minimum element in a sorted and rotated array but the problem with this approach is the time complexity is o n we can solve this problem in o log n using the sorted property so i have already said the array is sorted and rotated so using this property sorted we can solve this problem in o log n using binary search let's see how we can solve this problem using binary search so in binary search what we do in binary search we first compute the mid and the and and uh, then we compare the value present at mid to the element we are searching in an array but here we are not searching an element we are just finding the minimum element so let's see how we can solve this problem so now this is my sorted and rotated array and these are the values in this array 5 6 1 2 3 4 if you see i can first compute the mid so here are some few conditions that i am checking if the array is of only one length then just return the element present at 0th index and if the array is already sorted then just return the element present at 0th index else we are using uh, the binary search uh, i mean uh, the binary search algorithm so what is so we uh, i have declared two variables here and assign start with zeroth element and and so assign a start with zero and end with so i have initialized a start with zero and end with array length minus one so this array has six element so the value of end is five then here i'm computing the mid so mid here is 
0 plus 5 divided by 2 which is 2.5 so it is n so the mid the value of mid is 2 now w w once we compute the mid so I am writing the indexes here 0 1 2 3 4 5 these are the array indexes so if you see the value present at mid is 1 now this one is compared with mid minus 1 and mid plus 1 it just ensure that if the value present at mid minus 1 is lesser than the value present at mid minus 1 then we found the minimum element and if the second con uh, co condition ensured that if the value present at mid plus 1 is less than the value present at mid so we return the value uh, present at mid plus 1 but here the mid minus 1 value is greater than the value present at mid so we return the mid so this is what this condition is here we are checking if the value present at mid minus 1 is greater than the value present at mid so return the value present at mid else so we found I mean we found our minimum element so uh, don't need to uh, visit all these conditions let's take uh, the second example and see how we can solve how we can find the minimum element in this array so the value is 11 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so this array has 8 elements so if you see the value of end is 7 now and if you compute the mid the mid is 3 let's write its index as 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so if you see here is my mid which we computed here then I am checking is, is value presented mid minus 1 is greater than mid so this condition is false next condition is is the value present at mid plus 1 is lesser than the value present at mid so this condition is also false now let's move to uh, next condition where we are checking the value present at the end of an array is greater than the value present at mid yes this condition is true so if you see uh, we just check whether the element present from mid uh, element present at mid to the end of an array is in ascending order uh, so if it is then definitely the minimum element is not present in this part of an array we have to find the minimum element in this part of the array so here I have assigned the value of end as mid minus 1 so mid is 3 so the value of end is end is 2 so if you see the value of start is 0 and the value of n is 2 so we find the minimum element in this part of an array and again we compute the mid so this time the mid is 1 so mid is point at this index and see the first condition where we are checking is mid minus 1 is greater than the mid yes this condition is true so we return the value of mid which is 2 we find the minimum element which is 2 now see we have solved this problem in O log n uh, time complexity and here is my main method in which I have uh, I have test this code with uh, following input arrays and if we run this code let's see the output and if I run this code see my output is 2 let's uh, take any another array and let's just comment it out and if I run this code let's see my output is 1 so in this way we can solve this problem in O log n time complexity and if you have any doubt please uh, uh, let me know through your comment I'll uh, reply on that comment and for more such programming uh, tutorial you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash webredite.com 
Thanks for watching this video.